Station. This is Spruce Street School. How do you hear me? We are ready for the event. Uh, Spruce Street School. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. How do you read it? This is an exciting day here at Spruce Street School. We have a packed auditorium of students, parents, and staff that have been anticipating this event for months. Now, let's get started with our first question. Hi, my name is Talia Borman, and here's my question. What are you working on for this space mission in particular? We have over 200 science experiments going on at any given time on the International Space Station. Uh, we've also done some reconfiguration of the space station with spacewalks to get ready for uh, commercial crew vehicles, which are going to be bringing astronauts from Kennedy Space Center directly here to the International Space Station starting here in the next few years. Hello, my name is Paul Sarver. I'm in seventh grade, and I was wondering, what are ways the space station could get damaged and need repair? We have a lot of really complex uh, and sophisticated equipment in an incredibly harsh environment. So as well built as our hardware is, it still breaks down over time. So those need, things need to be repaired. We also sometimes sustain damage on the outside from, uh, from orbital debris. And sometimes we need to go out and make repairs to things that get broken that way. So uh, maintaining this, this amazing space station is uh, kind of a full-time job. Hi, my name is Kiefer and I'm in sixth grade. My question is, the view from space is supposed to be amazing. Is it really that great? And can you explain why? Looking back at our home planet is a, is a life-changing experience. It's just this, this piercing color of blue that just defies anything you would see on Earth. And I've heard many people say, and I would agree, when, when you get up here and look out of the window for the time, all you want to be able to do is to take everyone you've ever met and bring them up here uh, to have a chance to look back on our home planet and realize how special and beautiful it is. Hi, my name is Aiden I. Healy, and I'm in eighth grade. And my question is, how long does it take, and what are the procedures for a spacewalk? Well, the suit up and actually doing the spacewalk, the spacewalk itself is only about six and a half hours. Uh, the day, though, is usually about 12 hours. We have to get ready in the morning, get suited up. We have to prepare for going to a lower pressure, which means breathing pure oxygen. Um, but the weeks leading up to that, uh, is there's a lot of work that happens on the International Space Station to get all the hardware together, to get the suits ready. Um, and on the ground, there's even more people doing way more work. And th these things can, be, can take up to a year to prepare and get ready to do uh, for very complex tasks. Hi, my name is Thomas, and I'm from sixth grade. And uh, what types of fun or relaxing ac activities do you do in space? Oh, we can do all kinds of great stuff up here. I read, we play guitar, we look out the window, we can do things like this. <laughs> <laughs> Which uh, certainly is uh, <laughs> uh, And so uh, it's a pretty fun environment, but uh, really for relaxation, looking out the window and taking pictures of our beautiful planet is what most people like to do. My name is Lucian Kosinski, and I'd like to ask, what is the scariest thing that happened to me in space, and what did you do? Um, you know, riding on a rocket's a pretty interesting experience, and uh, uh, there's definitely a little bit of fear involved in that, but uh, there's three big things up here we're really worried about. We're worried about the space station losing atmospheric pressure, we're worried about toxic uh, ammonia leaking into our atmosphere, or we're worried about fire. And we have memorized response, um, and every now and then we get a, uh, so we know what we're supposed to do, no matter when those three things happen, we know what we're supposed to do by heart. Um, every now and then we get a false alarm in the middle of the night, and that's probably the scariest thing, because that moment from when you wake up to you get outside and figure out what's going on, you don't know if it's for real or for not, uh, or not, uh, or a false alarm. And uh, so those are probably the scariest moments up here. Hi, I'm Jean, and my question is, what are some different job roles or, or responsibilities on the ISF? We're kind of, you know, repair people. We have to fix things that break. We have to kind of do the science experiments for the scientists on the ground. Uh, sometimes we end up flying the robotic arm, and sometimes we have to go out on a spacewalk and, uh, and, um, and fix things or install new equipment outside of the International Space Station. We wear a lot of different hats on any given day. Hi, my name is Raina, and I'm in seventh grade, and my question is, what advice do you have for kids who want to become astronauts? study science, technology, engineering, or mathematics, and take advantage of the amazing teachers that will surround you throughout your career and, uh, and, help, and lean on them to help, help prepare you for, for your career. 
Hi, my name is Lucas, and I was wondering uh, what types of data are you gathering during your time on the ISS, and how will it help science knowledge as a whole? It's twofold. Uh, the, the first thing we are doing, we, we, we work to improve life on Earth, uh, whether with water reclamation or understanding human health and physiology, um, and the manufacturing of materials in the absence of gravity. Um, those are all things we do to, to improve life on Earth. Um, the other thing we're trying to do is set the stage for the exploration of the solar system. And so we, uh, we are up here uh, developing new technologies and new hardware to help us expand our presence into the solar system. And I think that's going to be an awesome, awesome journey for folks in your classroom uh, to do. Hi, this is Hilary Casado, acting principal at Spruce Street. I wanted to say that it's been an honor to speak with you today. We wish you safe travels, and we'll be waiting to you the next time the ISS flies over New York City. I'm uh, so sorry that our time together was so short, but it was great for you to make time. I know the end of the school year is very busy. I wish you all a wonderful summer, and um, just great spending time with you, with you here today on the International Space Station. All the best. <laughs>